Hello, welcome to Camaro Moss Channel. Hope you're having a great day. I had Paul ask me if I would do a video on how to clean a catch can. So we're going to do that on the car today. Now some of these are a little bit more complex than others. This is just a little cheap $20 one you can get off of eBay. Some of them have baffles and chambers and all kinds of stuff in them. Them you pretty much got to rinse out with uh, gasoline or acetone, wash them out. But these right here is pretty simple. Anyway, this is St. Patrick's Day, Wednesday. Thought I'd turn on the green lights. But yeah, Paul asked me if I could uh, do a video on uh, how to clean the the catch can. This one here is kind of neat. It's got a little dipstick in it. But these are real important to have on direct injection, which what most uh, what most uh, six cylinders are, and the V8s. You need a catch can because it'll it'll clean the uh, the vapors up, and before it goes back in your intake manifold. And you don't get a bunch of carbon build up on your the bottom of your valves. That gets all built up and then your your valves don't seat right and then your car don't run very good. So it's kind of storming right now. It's, I can hear it raining and the wind blowing and everything going on outside. So if you hear a big old loud crack of thunder then you might have to take cover here shortly. But anyway, these, these, uh, I don't think I told you, uh, these are real important to have on direct injection and turbocharged engines. You need it on turbocharged engines to keep every, keep the oil clean, keep your intake valves and all that clean, so you don't get the the carbon buildup. I'll see if I can insert a. a I'll see if I can insert a uh, picture of carbon buildup right here. On the, I'll just put it up here in the corner here. But yeah, they, you can. Uh, and there are several different kind of catch cans. There's some with baffles, and some that's just open open cans like this one. So what I'm going to do, I like to, this is the Camaro Moz channel, so yeah, there's your, there's your thunder. So what I want to do, I may not show it on the video today, but I am going to get some, uh, go put some steel wool in here. See, this is kind of a small baffle here. When you have it going down into, uh, say like steel wool or something like that then the air that's coming off of that's going to be a whole lot cleaner because there that steel wool is going to catch all your contaminants down in the steel wool so when you get ready to clean that you pull the steel wool out and wash your wash your can out good wipe it out or wash it out and you may just want to take your steel wool and throw it away or just put some new one in put some new steel wool in there or you can you can rinse it out with gasoline or something but it's a good idea to keep these clean keep an eye on them you don't want them to fill up get them so full then you got oil straight shot of oil going into your intake manifold that wouldn't be too good So anyway, the, I believe there's a, on the, on the Camaro 3.6, there's a mod that most people need to do. They need to take your PVC valve out and drill it out where it has a little bit more, I'm not sure what size to drill it, but I would drill it out about twice the size that it is give it more 
because they tend to plug up so what happens they plug up and then you're not getting any anything pulling off of the no ventilation at all is what I'm saying so you got to keep that opened up where you can get ventilation through there and and keep all that halfway clean okay it's what we're gonna do now we're gonna we're gonna take the go to the car here and we're gonna we're gonna spin off the the catch can we're gonna take and take it off there and clean it this one is a, a an elite engineering that catch can it fits the uh, 3.6 really good it's got special brackets and stuff you got to put on it you get one like this and you got nowhere to mount it got a little mounting tab here you really ain't got nowhere to put it that's got a special bracket on it that that mounts over onto your well we'll go to that here in a little bit okay right here's your catch can this is the elite engineering this is the best one that fits the Camaro because otherwise you're not gonna have any place to mount it to it's got special brackets that it mounts it to it mounts it to this bolt here that originally was on the uh, the engine cover so grab hold of the bottom real good give it a turn and turn it clockwise if you're looking down on it just turn it clockwise There's a little bit in there. Get you an oil bucket or something and just dump it out. Okay, just a few a few drips in that one. Of course then again I don't drive this car much at all so I'm sure yours will have a whole lot more in it if you if it's a daily driver. That probably wasn't even a hundred miles right there. I'm gonna take a shop towel, stick it inside there and there's not much in there. Now if you had a baffled one, a baffled uh, catch can, you may just have to rinse it out with uh, acetone or gasoline is what you would do if you had a bunch of baffles in there to really get it clean. So that was ready to put back on now. Get this bucket here out of the way okay now we just stick it back up under there now you turn it counterclockwise make sure you got to make sure you're not cross no threads Okay, this engine right here can be either a V6 or a V8. This is the ventilation system in the engine. It comes out of the top of your intake, goes through the clean side of the engine, and it goes down through the engine block, down through your oil pan, and up through the second side this is your dirty side of the engine and this is your PVC valve over here and this is where this is the line you connect to your your oil catch can 
And if you're not catching your contaminants in your oil, all this stuff's going to be recirculated again. So that means you're going to be getting, it's all going to be building up. Like these pictures here. This is not too bad, but it can be some of these can be built up pretty bad see that's really bad there that's what happens if you don't have an oil catch can wow So we got to uh, go back to that. Okay, you see what it does on on that? You it circulates back through the engine here, and then it collects on the the bottom of the valves. It all builds up like that, and then it gets where the the engine won't run right. So that's what happens if you don't have a oil catch can. See this one has a filter on it. Those that are completely empty, I would suggest to put like uh, like we talked about earlier in the video, put some uh, steel wool in it. That'll help filter out the contaminants. Like this one over here. Okay, oil catch cans. You got cheap ones, $25 ones, you got $100 ones, you got $200 ones. The ones that go on the uh, Camaro is the Elite Engineering. That's the best ones that fit on there. And they're, I believe they're 179 So that's not too bad. So yeah, you can get some... You can get some cleaner to get this stuff out, but... You don't want all that stuff running through your through your engine. I mean it's that's probably got a lot of miles on it right there. See that's got a bunch of stuff all caked on it. Around there. If it gets around here on the edges here, then it won't seat right. And your engine won't run right. Okay, here's a kind of an animated one got your air and your, your gas mix right here going in it's your intake coming into the piston here when it's bright right here is when you have your your ignition and you got your you got your exhaust stroke so you see all this stuff here coming up through here coming back up through here right in here is where your catch can would go catch it before it comes right back into your intake again so you don't want all that crud coming back through again coming right down into your cylinder scratching your cylinders and just causing a bunch of wear on it see so you got your combustion stroke your intake combustion, exhaust, intake, and compression. Okay, these look like the Elite Engineering catch cans. See, they come off the top here. They got a, a line that comes out the side here. You get them in four different colors. Sometimes got little gauges here on the side, you can see how full they are. Okay, you can get some CRC intake valve turbo cleaner, intake valve and turbo cleaner. Yeah, and there's some other good stuff on the market that you can run through there.
can see you can see a clean one here and a carbon buildup one here. Oh, look at that nasty one. Okay, that's gonna. This is a good reason why you need a catch can. Preserve your engine here. Okay, cleaning the cleaning the catch can is pretty simple. So the storm seems like it's getting closer. So if you got any questions or any comments, just put them down below and. Uh, So, woo! So I guess that's going to do it on this video. So thanks, Paul, for sending in that suggestion on how to clean your catch can. So thanks for watching.